put it in the drawer. Very good. You clean the knife, you dry it, and you put it away. Now, where do you clean your knife? You take it to the dish room, no? No, no. You don't take it to the dish room? No, no. Why not? We have one person. Because if you take it to the dish room, then the person who's washing the dishes will accidentally probably cut themselves. Okay. Would you leave your knife for a minute in the sink next no. to the table where you are uh, working? Um, no. Team? No. Why not? Then other people might cut this up, you might cut yourself. Or you try to grab your knife. Now, what about walking with the knife? Uh, okay. uh, if you're walking with the knife, you have to hold it correctly straight down on the side of wow. your waist. Uh -huh. Because if, you, if you're holding it in the wrong way, you could accidentally either cut somebody or might accidentally stab someone. Okay, okay, very good, very good. So what about if you if your knife uh, if you drop your knife? You should you try to, to grab it? No. No, you should try to move it. Ah, wait, okay. Very good, but no, just move to the side. You move to the side. Why? Because it might cut your foot. Because usually the first thing you're gonna do is that when you drop your knife, <laughs> you're gonna you just grab it and you may cut yourself. Very good. All right, you have to try, uh, treat your knife the same way you treat your cell phones. You never leave your cell phone unattended. You take care of your cell phones. You don't leave it there and walk away. Would you do that? Not with my Blackberry. No. You don't do that. Not with my bedroom. You, you turn it off, you take care of it, you don't put it on top of a wet counter, you're careful. That's how you take care of your knife. Okay? The chef take care of, well care of their knives. Okay. Um, now, um, use the right knife, excuse me, use the right knife for the right task. Okay? So, if you're doing, what do you use this the chef knife for? You can use it for slicing, dicing, or in the end. Very good. For a variety of, uh, what else? That's why they call it a chef knife. Basically for almost everything. Now, the very knife, we talk about what? We talk about Garnish. garnishes. What garnishes have we done here? Uh, here. Flowers. flowers. Look at how easy. If I use the chef knife, can I do this? No. Maybe I can do it, but it will be so hard. What happened is that if you use the wrong knife for the wrong task, it will take you longer, and the final product may not be the right. Will not come out right, no? Okay, so I use the right knife for the right task, and I think, I think, I made a flower here. No, yeah, the man said you made a rose. No, Remember? Like, sure, you make a rose. A rose. We. Well, I mean, kind of. Or like a crown flower. Uh, it looks like a rose. Oh, see. Yeah. See, so yeah, it kind of does. Something like that. It's like a rose. All right. Here we are. We use the very knife. Okay? If we want, if we're gonna um do uh um, Juliet. Okay. Juliet. We're gonna do this. That's good. Does anyone know what is Juliet card? What is strips? It's like a strip, very thin. So, well, you can do it with that, but with these,